Hello everyone and welcome back to Mark Talks Finance. I'm sure if you've checked out the financial space on YouTube lately, you've probably seen quite a few videos referring to the market crash or something along the lines of catastrophic crash, stock market is crashing, do this now. Things you have to do right now to calm your fear of losing money. Get it? Calm your fear. Well, I'm not about the fear mongering, but I'm gonna do my very best to explain why you should never worry about a market crash. But before we hop right into it, why don't you drop a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. All right, with that said, let's get right into it. Now a stock market crash is an unanticipated drop in stock prices that could be caused by an economic crisis, like the financial crisis of 2008, or a worldwide event like the current pandemic. Now one thing that also plays a factor is the reaction to these events, which could either be panic selling that would drive the market down even further, or buying the dip to bring the market back from its lows back to normal levels. Now, given that a crash happens on average once every 10 years, as an investor, you will understand that your investment plan should account for a crash, meaning that if you have the opportunity, you need to plan for a crash that could happen at any time. Factoring in safeguards in your investment plan means that you will be prepared to not only minimize losses during a crash, but be presented with the opportunity to grow your return on your investment even further. And so the first reason why you should never worry about a market crash is that you would have allocated your assets appropriately. Best practice is to allocate across different asset classes, which means stocks, real estate, bonds, and crypto. And having appropriate asset allocation is key. You wouldn't see a lot of people recommending to put the majority of your money in crypto, for example. One step further would be to diversify within these allocations. Within your stocks, you could invest in a broad market ETF for that diversification there. Or if you invested in real estate, you could invest in commercial as well as residential real estate. Basically, you wanna make sure that you keep your investments well diversified. Keep in mind here that well diversified does not mean equal weight. So don't go and split everything evenly. At the end of the day, the weighting really depends on your knowledge of each area as well as your risk tolerance. Speaking of risk tolerance, that's gonna bring me to my next reason. Know your risk appetite. Historically, there have been longer periods of market growth compared to market crashes. Now, even though it might seem like a roller coaster, it is important to remember this fact to prevent panic during the bad times. More importantly, before you invest, you need to know how much of a drop in your investments you're willing to stomach. The worst thing that could happen is for you to pull out of an investment while it is down and then see it recover and reach all time highs. So you need to know how much volatility you can stomach as this will determine how risky of an investment you're willing to handle in exchange for higher potential returns. And now the next reason not to worry about a market crash is that you know exactly what's in your portfolio and why you own them. And I'm not talking about being able to name the assets. I mean, really knowing the stock. Be able to write down a record of the company profile, what your key products are, the strengths, the weaknesses, why this is a good addition to your portfolio. Do this for every stock in your portfolio. And this will serve as a reminder whenever there's a down market to look at this record and see if anything has changed fundamentally. And if nothing has changed, then this should be a reminder not to sell a company just because it hit a rough patch. When there's a down market, there are usually lots of decisions fueled by emotion. And this record will help you keep you level-headed and focused on your goal. Another thing to mention is that you wouldn't worry about a market crash if you're always ready for buying opportunities. Market dips are when fortunes are made and it helps to have some cash ready to snatch up investments at discount prices when the market dips. There's no point in trying to chase the absolute bottom though. Look to enter at a reasonable discount and you will still have a high chance of positive returns. Base hits, not home runs here. Keep a list of investments that you like to buy at a discount so you have a plan to execute when the time comes. And lastly, focus on the long term. When a stock market declines, it can be difficult to watch your portfolio value shrink in real time and do nothing about it. However, if you're investing for the long term, doing nothing is often the best course of action. The worst thing you can do is to sell your stock. If you're wondering why you should wait for your portfolio to get back to zero, remember what happens when you sell investments, especially when you sell in a downturn you lock in your losses. So if you keep these five things in mind, you'll never have to worry about a market crash and you might even be inclined to get excited about one as I will present buying opportunities for you to further your return on your investments even more. With that being said, I'll bring it to a close here. Thanks so much for watching. If you have anything to add, please leave a comment down below. If you found value out of this video, drop a like down below as well. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.